Think fast. Is Al-Qaeda Sunni or Shiite? Well, don't feel bad if you don't know. Neither does the next chairman of the Congressional Intelligence Committee. It's just one of the facts that Texas Democrat Sylvester Reyes got wrong in a congressional quarterly quiz. CQ's national security editor, Jeff Stein, was the man who quizzed him, and he joins me now from Washington. Jeff, um, I'll just be blunt. This is very disturbing news, to me at least. Did you find Sylvester's lack of basic knowledge on these critical issues stunning? Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, I've interviewed top FBI officials who couldn't answer these questions either. I interviewed uh, a couple of uh, Republican uh, subcommittee chairs, including the chairwoman of the subcommittee on human intelligence, in other words, spies, supposed to keep track of spies. She didn't have a clue either who was who in the Middle East. Um, so I can't say I was altogether surprised, but I, I had had, you know, a half an hour's conversation with uh, the congressman uh, about serious issues, and he struck me as a very serious and dedicated and concerned congressional official, um, knowledgeable on intelligence issues. So he made a statement that made me think I wanted to ask him the factual basis for his opinion. So I, I told him that I often ask uh, members of the Intelligence Committee, the Oversight Committee, uh, certain basic questions. And he, he sort of chuckled. He, he said, I see a trap coming. And I said, well, it really is a simple question. like. Uh, who are the Shia and who are the Sunnis? I said, for example, Al Qaeda. What, which one are they? You know, and he said they were predominantly Shiite. Uh, they're not predominantly anything. They're, they are Shiite. Um, I asked him about Hezbollah, uh, which until 911 was the terrorist group that killed the most Americans, um, which they were. And he he, he said there uh, he didn't have an answer for that. He just went. We sort of drew a blank on that. Uh, then he said, um, uh, why are you asking these questions at 5 o'clock? Um, you know, because he was tired. That was a little bit dismaying. Well, and, and the thing is, again, if you're, and I, I know Sylvester, I served with him. He's a good guy and yes. an intelligence, an intelligent man. Yep. But if you're running the Intel Committee, it just seems to me, again, for people out there rolling their eyes, it seems to me you need to know if Al-Qaeda is in fact run by Sunnis, because maybe that would suggest why Iran, a Shiite nation, would be willing to work with intelligence communities in the United States to go against Al-Qaeda. Same thing with Hezbollah being a Shiite organization. I mean, yeah. there, you know, the thing that stunned me is there are leaders in Washington, D.C., and in fact, people in the news business, very high up in the news business, they can't even tell you the ethnic breakdown of Iraq and whether Shiites have 60% of the population there or Sunni. So yeah. what, about, what about Jane Harmon? She's a woman that a lot of people thought deserved this position. Are those the type of questions that Jane Harmon knows the answers to? Yes, she does. Um, you know, I've gotten some emails, I've gotten a lot of emails, and, and some of them say, well, why haven't you quote uh, Democrats before, you know, make them look stupid? Well, it turns out, well, first of all, the Democrats weren't in charge, uh, you know, even close to being in charge. Um, but in passing, I did ask Jane Harmon, I said, I asked this question of everybody, and, and she sort of rolled her eyes, and she said, uh, well, you know, what do you want to start with? He split 1,400 years ago, you want to talk about the Mahdi army, do you want to talk about splits with us? I said, forget about it. You, you know. Right. You got it. Uh, Zoe Lofkin of California, uh, same. You know, she just started rolling off. She had an easy familiarity with the basic questions and beyond. Both of them did. Well, and Jeff, so the question is, how does a man like this, again, who may uh, be very intelligent when you start talking about immigration issues or budget issues or national defense issues, yeah. how does a man like this get elevated to the Intel Committee without even knowing the most basic facts about who's on what side in the war on terror? Well, I think you have to ask a speaker to be uh, Nancy Pelosi about that. Uh, there's a lot of guesses about that. A compromise candidate when the first one fell through and she didn't want Jane Harmon to be uh, the committee chair. Um, but, you know, some, I had lunch yesterday with a senior former intelligence official, spent 25 years in the Middle East, and he pointed out something very obvious to me, which is that uh, being committee chairman of the Intelligence Committee is a part-time job. That a congressman's real job, and you're a former congressman, I'm, I'm sure you might back this up. A congressman's real job is bringing home the bacon to the uh, district, uh, and that, that could be good bacon too, you know, schools, roads, bridges, uh, infrastructure, things that uh, the district needs. And that's what a congressman pays attention to, or a member of Congress, I should say, man or woman. 
And um, intelligence, you're not bringing home any bacon in intelligence. You're uh, truly a public servant looking out for the national interest, not the local interest. Um, unless, of course, you're a congressman from New York or, other, or, Washington, or Washington area, I should say, right. a high target area. Um, but these intelligence officials are very, uh, you know, they're not happy. They go up and give these briefings, and they give briefings um, to members of the intelligence community who clearly don't know what they're talking about, and uh, it's distressing for intelligence officials. But these committees are, are the taxpayers' representative. They're supposed to be making sure that our intelligence uh, agencies are doing a good job. Right. And obviously, they haven't been. So. And, on, and, and unfortunately, uh, if you have a chairman who is ignorant of the most basic facts about the war on terror and the breakdown and who's whom in the Middle East, then you've got a, a chairman that's more easily spun by an administration, be they you Republicans or Democrats. Hey, thank you so much you for being with us, Jeff. Uh, thank you. Tough, uh, a very tough story to tell because it's very disturbing, especially when we find ourselves in the middle of a war on terror and you have the new Democratic Congress putting a man in charge of the Intel Committee that doesn't even know the most basic facts about Al-Qaeda, about Hezbollah, about the crisis across the Middle East. Anyway, the clock's ticking as investors...